Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Anis Amalia, and people call me N. So today I'm going to talk about self-respect and self-esteem. Let's start with me telling you something about you. Well, you are a compromiser. Why am I saying so? Well, have you ever found yourself in a situation that you want to avoid confrontation so you just agree with someone else or someone else's plan just like that because you want to just move on new flash you guys you guys are robbing yourself out of opportunity and experiences by doing so and you might not even notice about it yes i understand and i know very well that sometimes we agree with someone else just to show our sense of politeness but sometimes it comes to an extent where we need to sacrifice ourselves just to appease to them. And I don't think that this is healthy to our own well-being. Therefore, today I'm going to tell you guys three ways on how to increase your self-esteem. Number one, you need to be kind to your own self. How do we be kind to our own self? It's easy. It's how you treat your best friend. Look, do you want to just suddenly disrespect your best friend? Saying unkind things to your best friend? Saying bad words to your best friend and demotivated them out of the blue? We didn't do that to our best friend, so why do we do that to our own self? Like what Nabi Muhammad has said, None of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Well, this hadith assumes that we love our own self to some extent, but do we really love ourselves? That's a question you yourself need to answer. And I really believe that we should all be aware of what we be talking to our own self we need to talk nicely to our own self like we did to others like we how we encourage others to do good stuff and that's how we need to do to our own self too okay number two we need to take responsibilities for our own self mm, what do i mean by that well um by taking responsibilities you are actually increasing your self-respect and self-efficiency what is self-efficiency okay self-efficiency is when you work towards reaching or um, achieving one's goals and it is very closely related to self-esteem therefore without owning your own responsibility you're gonna fall into something we call victim mentality this victim mentality will produce a powerless human being thinking that why i can't do that why it happens to me and as a trap you will keep cautioning yourself to the point that you feel like you are hopeless and you can't do anything without people telling you to do so and this is not a right thing to do to your own self like what Allah has said Allah does not change the conditions in which a people are in until they change that which is in themselves moving forward to number three you need to accept yourself we are born to this world with these flaws and imperfections but who else gonna love ourselves unconditionally other than our own self so we need to realize our weaknesses and strengths in order to strive more in this world and work towards a better future for our life and plus Allah loves for us to ask for his forgiveness and for us to repent to him often like this one hadith from Ibn Majah that said all the sons of Adam are sinners but the best of sinners are those who repent often. That's all for me and I hope it will benefit you and bring you to a better light about yourself. Bye!